hello guys so i recently made this a profiler and my friends were asking for the code so i thought why don't i make a tutorial video for this so i made this uh, in this way i got the code on github and designed it it's very nice so let's get started okay it's flat ui with a flat accent so the only thing we need is a profile pic yes profile pic and that's it uh, so let's search for some flat colors okay mm, here is a site which give us some flat ui colors very nice site so uh, let's choose one of the flat colors i like this one so these are very beautiful colors and uh, now it's time to change our image accent to one of those colors so while photoshop is opening let me tell you that we can click and copy very uh, not my side but very nice side okay uh, so let's cut the accent to match the accent let's cut the accent color okay uh, so i have used the pen tool on uh, level on windows 10 and i paste it on my big profile photo okay uh, now let's rename the layer it doesn't affect but uh, documentation looks nice okay so uh, create a new layer and add some color the same color on it yes uh, actually we are making a filter okay we can also use the filter tool available but this is something i like so now it looks similar yes uh, i think i make it 20s yes. so i disable this and merge both the layers like that yes it looks nice now i cut out circle okay a uh, pure circle i press the shift and control x and let's make a new file with some smaller size like uh, thousand by thousand it's too much thousand by thousand is also too much but no problem let's make it transparent and uh, wait control z and control alt let's resize the image okay so we need very small image but uh, okay this is also very big thousand pixels by thousand pixels is a lot but let's resize it set in our view zoom it check that everything is okay and export it so yes everything is fine everything is okay i go to export and export it with some file name okay and yes so here it is the file looks very nice mm, so why don't we save the project and uh, close my adobe photoshop yes because mm, it's i5 you know 4 gb ram i5 so that's the problem okay so let's open android studio hit up a new project and get started so let's quickly name my project and set up it yes okay main activity and click it finish let's fast forward the video because it took a lot of time to build yes okay so we go to values and styles for some color changing and we copy the accent dark one paste in the dark one in the colors.xml file here we store all the colors and then we copy the light accent and our main accent yes this is a nice accent color so our color is ready and okay 
let's move forward to our code let's start with linear layout remove the text view and remove the action bar too to remove the action bar we will go to resources values and then yes and then styles.xml and replace the above text as no action bar so we are here back and see there is no action bar here so let's create a linear layout and a text view inside it I think you remember the bigger text saying hey there yeah the same so we will add the text and let's add the background to dark we did so to match the color of navigation bar so here we got the text we will change the color and the font uh, no 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 we will change the size and add some padding so add some padding at the top and the bottom i think i have to increase the top padding let's see so we set the wrap content another text view do you remember the small data a lot of data so let's create a string and add some data to it okay so we went to the string copied the string paste it change the variable name and let me fast forward the content I mostly fast forward the content that is not useful because I know that it is a simple typing okay you can type it if you are up till this then you can easily do the things so uh, here is our content and let's see what happens oh my god so we can see that it's not properly aligned okay it must be in the bottom of that so after some deb debugging and after some uh, searching for the content I found that there was a problem okay I mean I forgot some uh, I mean, attribute and that uh, I forgot that orientation attribute in a linear layout okay in the top so let's add something to it I cannot found the text now okay uh, the text is lost so then I understood that the orientation must be horizontal or vertical according to the requirement by default it's horizontal but I have to add vertical because we want it that way so let's add some padding and we got the content more padding yes and even more padding to the bottom content looks nice yes okay let's create some buttons okay so let's create a drawable button let's change the selector to the shape add some solid color and add some corner radius also add some padding okay because uh, padding is important in a button so let's do this let's add padding on all sides all four sides and we are here so okay so we have two buttons and we have to set them aside in a i mean horizontal horizontal way so let's add another linear layout and then button so here we are we did everything we have added some linear layout and a button uh, text to a button and that set text to white but we see that the padding was less so we uh, I mean we made that way now we will add the icons okay so let's import some vector assets um, 
so we need the open in new tab and call okay so we have imported some vector assets let's see so call and as uh, okay open in new tab and a call so we got the both vector set now change the color to white because black will not suit here okay so i have changed the padding a bit i think the corner radius and again copy paste yes so let's change the content as per our requirement we have changed the text we have to change the icon and we have to change the icon placement okay so the icon must be on yes left side and we'll change it to this one looks nice but they must have some space between them so let's add some padding to both of them so padding left here and padding right on the top so okay no yes add some padding left oops and add some padding right on the top oh i am sorry i am very very sorry uh, padding is what actually the distance between the content and the wall okay but we we have to add some margin here because we want uh, to separate the block one block from another not the content from the block okay so if we would have to uh, separate the content from the block then we will do spreading but here we are not so let's continue we'll add some bottom padding also we'll add some padding in the content and some bottom padding to like make the distance between the content and the box that's why we use padding i would recommend you to see the box model okay the box model is in css so it will explain you the margin padding border border and everything so let's change some size i think 15 would be much better yes so it's done and the top view is created i think let me check in different devices change the padding of the button such that it looks good and yes done top view is done all through is not that much perfect but i will make it soon okay i will have to add some padding and play with it hit and run trial and trial and check so let's create another linear view which will hold our image so we have used match parent because we have to cover the remaining area remaining white area okay and let's set the gravity for that orientation yes we have forget the orientation on the top and we have faced that the block was not appearing so yes orientation vertical and some gravity gravity yes gravity center nice now let's add an image view but before adding image view let's import the image to our driver so it's very simple just drag and drop your image to the drawable folder that's it so we have did that and add an image view so let's try with match parent and add an src so we did all that okay we have selected the image but it was not appearing here there was a problem so i was not knowing the problem at that time 
see after a lot of changing content I thought that let's make the top one right looks right look right and then I will add the image so after changing some content I thought that image is not loading okay image is heavy so it's not it is not loading so I thought to run it and when I run it I got an error that the dash is not a valid file based resource so I have to replace the dash with an underscore okay so I did that and voila the image I got the image image looks nice and yes so now I have to add the content I mean uh, the name and the tag in the last so I cut it and I will later add it um, of course the image is coming so no doubt there would not be any error and let's add some text view with web content and add the text my name hashtag I am lolman add some font size and everything basically it's the game of font size font size yes and no shadow font size no shadow and flat colors just it so let's change the font size let's add the gravity to the center and yes yeah, my text is there now I have to add an image view and I think we are done yes so we are adding some image view here with a match parent and match parent but there's a problem okay so um, if you match parent both of them if, if the device screen is small then the text would not appear okay so we would have we can add a scroll view but I would not prefer it here okay so after adding some content here and there some padding here and there some margin here and there you will get the required content okay and after all the full code is on available on github so um, you can reach there and the link is of course in my description also slide guys is very simple okay it's just the knowledge of box model according to me I am not the expert of course but it looks easier at the starting so I am new to Premiere Pro of course this is my first video I am editing in Adobe Premiere Pro also this uh, was not the first but I'm just starting Android studio okay mm. I'm not thank you for bearing with me and my English they both are very bad so here it is the final view you can view it on the screen and yes now let's talk about a real thing it's the matter of truth so I'm not expecting a single viewer till this end maybe you are the first viewer and your name may be registered in the Guinness book of world records yes hopefully if you have reached till this end you must comment and thank you